What's up digital marketing agency owners? On this video, I wanna talk about one of the key strategies that can have a really, really positive impact on your ability to retain clients and to deliver tangible results for the clients that you serve. So if you're trying to figure out ways to come out of the blocks quicker, to get your clients more wins and to, to really generate better results overall, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. One of the key things I talk about in terms of client retention, we think about how do we how do we keep the clients that we've got so they don't just stick around for a couple months, but they stick around for years and they're so happy with the results that they're happy to refer us to others. And there's this process I refer to as the client retention maximization formula. Um, and, and really it boils down to three key things, right? If we wanna retain our clients at the highest level possible, We've got to have world-class onboarding, we've got to have effective communication month over month, and then we've got to have proactive success management. But out of all of these things, what we've found is if we can't get the clients to stick with us during the first three months, there's no way they're going to be happy a year down the track, right? So how you kick things off really sets the pace. And in another video, I've talked a lot about world-class onboarding, but what I wanna talk about on today's video are some specific strategies that you can put in place to generate quick wins. Where it's not just, hey, you know, we've got the usernames and passwords and we've started this uh, process, but real tangible, measurable results that you can deliver for your clients in addition to your core program so that they're like, wow, I had a great experience, um, I'm excited about where things are headed, the communication is strong, but they are actually starting to deposit real wins into the relationship account. So if that sounds good, hit the like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and let's get into this. So when we think about retention, right, and we think about how we wanna retain our clients, you wanna spend some time mapping out that experience, really mapping out the first seven days, the first 30 days, the first 90 days, and then that ongoing communication process. This is all part of your onboarding. Um, and there's a great book called The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gruber. I'm sure most of you have read it. If you haven't, that's just a much rust read for any business owner, let alone digital marketing agency. And in that book, he talks about this whole concept of engineering the experience, not just, you know, just haphazardly starting a relationship, but really thinking about like how do we gather the usernames and passwords and what email communication are they receiving and what stuff are they receiving in the mail. And I go dip deep on this on how to create a world-class onboarding experience. Check that video out on YouTube if you haven't already watched it. Um, but as you kind of think about that experience and the touch points and the things that go into play, right, from our personal thank you note to the onboarding form, to the welcome sequence, the launch call, the gift basket, and everything in between, you can have all of these elements really, really beautifully crafted and create this amazing wow experience. But if the client is 30 days in, 60 days in, 90 days in, and they're not actually getting any result, they're not getting any leads, they're not getting any sales opportunities, they're going to start to question you, even if you set the expectation that it's gonna take 90 days for something to happen. And so we really wanna be intentional about engineering quick wins, really thinking with your marketing hat on, what can we do for our client in the first week? That's not just going to be activity, but it's going to actually make the cash register ring. And as I go through this, I'd love to hear your quick wins, because I'm sure you've got innovative things that you're doing in your digital marketing agency. So start thinking about those so you can post them in the comments so they can be shared in the group and so we can all benefit from the cumulative wisdom. But a couple of quick win strategies that we found to be really effective in our agency and in the agencies that we serve in Seven Figure Agency are the ones that are easy in a lot of cases and also generate a tangible impact. So. Uh, Strategy number one would just be to launch a paid strategy, right? When we think about what we do at Plumbing and HVAC SEO, usually it's we're gonna build a website, we're gonna optimize it for the search engines, we're gonna focus on Google Maps, we're gonna make sure that over time we're coming up organically for the most important keywords. And really, that's a big, big part of what we do. But the other piece is we wanna be leveraging paid, right? We wanna be leveraging Google ads. We wanna be leveraging local service ads. We wanna maybe be leveraging Facebook ads. And oftentimes we think, you know what? 
until the website's done, we can't do that. Or until we've got this piece done, we can't do that. Well, there's no reason you can't launch at least a limited Google Ads campaign or a very basic Facebook ad strategy right out of the gates, right? Just figure one of the most important keywords that their prospects are typing. Let's drive it to a landing page so we're not waiting for the website to be updated and to be modified. And usually we can have a paid search campaign done and live in the first week. Sometimes faster, like if you're really Johnny on the spot, you can get a campaign spun up in a couple of hours, right? And, you know, maybe it's not a slam dunk, but it's something where they can see traffic is being passed, leads are coming in, and the sooner you can generate a lead, the sooner that you can generate an inquiry, the sooner you can generate an actual sale, the better. And so this is something we load every single time as quickly as we can right out of the gate. Now, in addition to that, another strategy that not everybody does, but it's, it's a low-hanging opportunity, is to run a database reactivation campaign. Database reactivation is, is just the process of looking at who are your customers today, who are the prospects that have inquired that haven't converted yet, and how often are you communicating with them, right? Are you sending them emails? Are you sending them text messages? Are you calling them and following up? Most of your clients that you work with don't do anything with their existing database, literally. Customer comes in and it's until they call back, nothing happens. And for their unconverted opportunities, literally nothing has been done to work on those opportunities. This concept, Dan Kennedy is a big fan of this. If you're, if you're a follower of Dan Kennedy, this is one of his number one go-tos. And more recently, Rob Bailey is really big into the strategy of database reactivation. You can go deep on that idea and how to use it. Um, I studied with Rob Bailey to understand really how to leverage the strategy for our clients. And so there's two plays past customers and unconverted opportunities. And this could just be as simple as sending an email and a text message, hey, here's an offer, right? Hey, we did business with you in the past, here's an opportunity for us to do business again. And they can reply back if they're interested, they can click a button and request an appointment if they're interested. What we found is, in most cases, within the first week we can get our client's database, we can load up a campaign, and we use high level for this, and then we can send an email and a text message and make it rain for that client in the first week, right? And so this is a great quick win. If you haven't done this yet, if you're not already actively leveraging these types of strategies, think about the client that just signed up for two, $2,000, $2,500 a month, and they signed up for your whole package. Do the website, the SEO, the pay-per-click, the social media, and your team's going to work, and they're gonna do the thing, and they're gonna really generate a result for the client. These are some things you can do really early on to get some wins and to really maintain that, that expectation out of the gates with the client, which will absolutely impact your retention. The next would be to set up live chat. Most of your clients have a website, they have a Google My Business profile or Google profile, and they've got Facebook page. But there's very little opportunity to interact on those pages. And again, looking at the, at the beauty of Go High Level is you can very easily drop a widget or a little piece of code onto the client site and now there's a chat bubble that can come up, that can start engagement, that can help you start to generate leads from the traffic and the opportunities that already exist. You help them capitalize on opportunities that are already in play. And so what I would suggest is we're gonna put that live chat on their website. There's already traffic probably going to the website, their Google profile, because people are already hitting them on Google Maps, and their Facebook page. And if you're not familiar with what Go High Level is, um, it's pretty much integral to all of these strategies and can help you do it really quickly. I've got a great video where I outline why Go High Level is such a game changer for digital marketing agencies, and I highly recommend you check it out. Now, we've got live chat in place. We've done a database reactivation. We've got a paid search campaign running. The next thing we could do is set up a missed call text back. And so oftentimes, and I've seen it used in home services, I've seen it used in legal, I've seen it used in healthcare. This applies across almost every industry and it's missed call text back. Not every one of the people that call in to your customer's office get a live answer. And what we know is, the prospect is 90% more likely to go to a competitor if they call in and they don't get an answer. And so, missed call text back is just a very simple way to make it so that when someone calls, when they don't get an answer, they get a text immediately from the company saying, hey, sorry we missed your call. Is there anything we can help you with? This creates a wow experience for the prospect 
and it captures unconverted opportunities. Something super simple you can put in place into a couple of minutes with your client, impress them because they're like, wow, I wouldn't have gotten any of these deals, any of these jobs, any of these clients if you hadn't put that in place. Big fan of this and it's something you want to do as quickly into the business relationship as possible. The last one I'm going to suggest is activating some type of retargeting campaign, right? Your clients have traffic, right? If, if you're dealing with a, a legitimate company that's been in business for any period of time, they've got people getting to their website, getting to their Google map profile, getting to their Facebook page. There's no reason you can't put a pixel on their site and start to retarget visitors. We know that retargeting when done correctly more than doubles the probability of earning the business on behalf of your client. And so if they don't have retargeting, which most clients don't, or they don't have it set up in a way that makes a lot of sense, you can put that in place. Now this has a double win because for the, for the client, they're gonna get more deals, right? They're gonna get more deals in the immediate term because people are getting to their website and they're not converting. The other win is the ego play because they're usually hitting their own website. Their family is hitting their own website. And when your retargeting is running, they start to see their own banner ads on popular websites, on Facebook, and they're like, wow, this new marketing agency really has it together. I'm seeing myself in places I never did before. And so this is a simple, quick wins approach that you can put in place. Most of these could be done in the first week or two and start to generate tangible, measurable results for your client in addition to what you're already doing. Let me know which of these in the comments you'll put in place. And if you have other quick wins that are working really well for you that you'd like to share, post those in the comments as well. So I hope you got value from this video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And I've got an additional resource I wanna share with you because I really feel like in order to grow your agency, you have to land clients on a consistent basis. You have to deliver world-class results. You have to retain and then you have to scale. You have to put the systems and procedure in place so you don't have to do it all yourself. And so if quick wins is part of your delivery and retention strategy, I've got a great training that I've put together called the Client Retention Workbook. And this is a checklist of all the key things you wanna be thinking about to retain your clients at the highest level possible. And you can get that by going to sevenfigureagency.com slash retention dash workbook. You can grab that now by going to sevenfigureagency.com slash retention dash workbook. Let me know in the comments what quick wins were most powerful for you, which ones you'll implement, and the, the strategies that you found to be most effective. That's it for today. Stay tuned for other great videos like this on how to grow and scale your agency. I'll talk to you soon.